Well, here we are. We're back. The home of Anglin Southfield Reservoir. Look at that, the Bream Mecca of the North. If not England. Some of the best lads come here. And there's one thing for sure, if you don't catch a lot, you'll have a good laugh with these lads. And uh, it's a bit miserable, look at it. Black. It said it what, it said when we're gonna come that way, and it's actually coming that way. So that is a northwest wind. And I'm forecast it was a south easterly, so I don't know what's gone off there, but anyway. He's on his first match this year. Oh, we've seen a dog look. Oh dear. Oh, he's looking, look. First match this year, and he's, he's, he's going to be, I think it's a bathroom or a shower today. He's going to be the right tat. Because it's drizzling, it's supposed to stop by now, but it hasn't. Anyway, we're here. So, uh, Oh, this is it. Look, I've drawn. I didn't want to be at this end. 26. A lot of fish are up the other end. Um, a lot of fish have been at the middle with that end vanished there. You see it? There, there. Just there. 35, 36. It's a great area. It's where I go pleasure fishing and everything. So, anyway, we're not there. But with 26 is, is the first ramp. It, it, it's a good peg in this area. This For some reason, fish live on this one because the pleasure anglers come up that ramp. And they fish these two or three pegs here because they don't work. So there's always a few fish. It's a good area. Oh, look at this lot. They all want to get on. Look at that. Mr. Kitwood and Mr. Bryden. Tough section again. Look at look at them. Smiling. Don't like to get on my videos, don't they? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> and Dave Clarkson, other side of me, is down there. So tough little section, this, because Dave, we won at Best Anglers on here last year. He won loads of matches. did really well. Pete is like Mr. Southfield and, and Eddie just, well, he's Eddie, basically. So, just with the section, but anyway. So it's the first match back, so I'm not really doing a lot today. I've had a word with AT, Alan Taylor, don't mess with him, ever. Um, otherwise you'd be in trouble. So, what we set up? Well, as you can see, we're all kitted out now. I'll show you the Look at that, I put in beef sausage and ham there oh. and there were cheese in the middle and he's at the bloody cheese he's a bloody, are you half mouse he must be half mouse he's got straight in at the cheese left the beef the ham the sausage and everything unbelievable jeff um so yeah so my ground bait mix which is really important on here and i don't really watch the guru video underwater last night but you've got to watch it it was fantastic and there were lots of people changing their mind in fact i've already had comments today saying you kidding us on all these years about moving the feeder and uh, <laughs> but watch it, it's fantastic, honestly. I, I can't recommend it enough. I, it blew me away some of the things that were on it. So, but anyway, um, my ground bait mix is the one I used last year. Well, last two years I've been using that mix and it's been very good to me. So I'm gonna start off with that and then we'll see what happens after that. I might come again this week because on Sunday, the spring league starts, which is an important match in our calendar. And, uh, it's really important so uh, we've got six Sundays on trot so it's important so I might come Friday if my ground bait mix I don't catch on it today but no reason why I won't I've caught in it last two years so I'm quite happy got my worms and my worm ventilator there look all my dendro beanos there you go look I'm all happy in there and the usual things let's get to said I've got two rods set up I've got marvellous 11 all round there you go look and Marvellous 12 all round. So uh, that's my 30, yard, 30 to 40 yard chuck, and that's my 50 yard chuck. Both with marvellous reels, one with 4,000, the smaller one with 4,000, and uh, with, with 5,000 on the 12 foot. These rods are just coming in the shops now. Take a look at them. They're somewhat special, trust me. So I've only got two rods set up, um, and uh, you can see maggots. Because it is it, on here, you've got fish with a, a, a 50 centimetre hook length, and it's all maggots and casters. Hey, up, mate, you're getting wet, and you can see I've put some of that in my ground bait. I love that. Look, I absolutely love that. So does Ben. Get out. And uh, casters, pinkies, maggots. You can see our new feeders that are coming in the shop soon, uh, which will be. I'll be doing some little demonstration. But what about these little beauties? You know about these clip-ons that's my landing net so you know where it is in the same spot all the time but i've not showed you this one look at this now where do you where's your scissors go 
I'll tell you where they go, hanging about. You're always looking for them. So you've got a little clip on here that actually goes on a bait tube or something like that. And it just clips on like that, back of it. And then you put it there, like that. And your scissors, I'll put them right way around like that. And your scissors are always where you want them. So when you want them, you can pick them up. And you can put that anywhere you want on a bait tube. But you know where your scissors are every time. I bet you didn't think you needed one of them, did you? Hey, honestly. We're going to sell loads so that's another part of the clip-ons and uh, so what am i going to do today two lines 30 i've got 30 meters and 50 meters straight forward and see what happens watch these lads these lads have been coming all the time so they'll know where fish are i'll just i'll just watch what they're doing and that's how you learn and uh, we want to put pegs over there today on canal bank so there's about 40 here so for a wednesday i don't think anybody's going to jobs anymore it's unbelievable so we'll see so Right, right looking forward to it so you can see i've got some new products to show you we've got lots more coming in and uh, hopefully we'll get a few pulls and it's you know, like a bit more wind to be honest with you but it's what it is but uh, i think we're going to get wet and it said it was going to mind well, well, there i am listening to weather forecasters aren't i well, that's a waste of time so let's have a good day ben's happy look sat on my knee he fist fist match out and he's going to get wet through black shower tonight boy haha <laughs> Ah, right. Well, I've got about 10 to 12 pounds, I think. I've had five two pounders and uh, some skimmers. But I've definitely left some behind today. Definitely left some behind. Uh, fish two lines, 30, 30 about the, uh, the uh, 50. I've not had a fish at 30, and I think they've caught a few fish down there. Uh, short. And I haven't, so. Uh, well, I've definitely left some behind, 100%. And I couldn't get a bite on anything but a little bit of worm. I'm not a bite with anything with a maggot on, I don't know why. Um, I've caught 12 pounds, like I'm not grumbling, I've, I've just... I don't know. We've caught in the last 40 minutes, I've caught three and three chucks, just after we an hour to go. Not within a minute, and then never another bite. But they've caught down there. Every time I looked up though now, it's just, to be honest with you, it's fish feeding. You knew when you were going to catch a fish because you're getting indications. And, uh, but it sounds like everybody's been like that when I've looked because I face that way. When I've looked at Dave's had about the same as me. And you just sit there, sit there, no happens. Hey, poor old Ben loving him. Like a drowner, right? He is. <laughs> He's getting a bath tonight. Um, so yeah, so back to us, see what I've got, but a bit disappointed because I know I've left a couple of fish behind today, 100%. Um, first time here, a bit rusty, definitely silly and stuff. In fact, first, after a minute, we, we have a crack off league, so if you crack off, you get a point. And, and Dave, Dave after, has brought the record, one second cracked off, one second. And of course, I was laughing. <laughs> and I've gone and I've cast in, and I've got the biggest bird's nest you've ever seen in one that rings. About 10 loops must have come off at the same time, and how I didn't crack off, I will never know. But I didn't crack off, but you should have seen it. Honestly, and everybody were laughing, they thought I cracked off, but I hadn't. Oh, well, I got my feed about, but oh my god, you should have seen it. So Dave's on the board, we crack off. But he's brought the record out. I reckon I've just beat one second. <laughs> it was as funny as old it was. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you know where I've got. Right, first match back at Southfield and uh, learned a few things today. God, it's fishing well. It's at three thirty pounds and uh, it's a couple of twenties, I think. And uh, Pete Emerson's won it well done, mate. Uh, and uh, we're at right end. I can't, I can't really grumble. There were plenty of fish down there, and uh, when you see weights and. I weighed twelve pound six, uh, which was I had um, five that were two pound, and then probably eight little fi eight little fish. I had another one about twelve ounce, and some little fish twelve pound. But I've definitely left two or three fish. I think I were at wrong line, and we had a shadow of a doubt. I fed two, and uh, I'm not quite sure whether that's right. To be honest with you, I think I should should pick one in between them. To be honest with you, I don't know. Uh, but all I know is. I've had I've had enough bites because first hour, I've had uh, I've had a bream and a skimmer, 
We've had two pulls that I couldn't believe one's on. So, and it's quite interesting. They came in my peg three times, I reckon, and I'll get indications. Um, so, um, and I, I just, I, I just, because I hadn't been going, I, I felt really out of tune, I'll be honest with you, I did. Uh, but So it's done me good today, because, uh, like I said, Spring League starts on Sunday. And uh, so that's really why I went, I went today, get cobwebs off and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, so, strangely enough, I've enjoyed it. And little Ben here, he's going to get a shock in a minute because he's going in the old shower, aren't you? Going for a bath, eh? Because you absolutely... Well, it's rained most of the day, apart from afternoon, so he's... he's uh, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> you don't want to know. So he's going to shower, aren't you? So I'm going to be a bad dad. He's not going to, he's not going to like that, but anyway... So yeah, so I'm glad I went today because I've got cobwebs off now and I feel a bit more a bit more uh, comfortable. Um, so I couldn't catch it. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. One of the things I'm a big believer in is putting the bait on that you're confident. And some people are confident putting maggots on. Some people putting worms on. I'm confident putting uh, my my go to bait all is at Southfield were an inchworm. And a, and a maggot, a dead maggot. We're always the best way, and I can't get a bite on it now. And the best, I've caught all my fish just on a bit of worm today. And I've seen other people have caught a maggot. So maybe that's because they put in that bait through and I'm putting worms. I don't know. But it is weird, but I'm a big believer in putting what you're confident with when you want to fish. But certainly, them, the, the, I felt like I want that right line today uh, for some reason. I don't know why, because uh, people have caught shorter than me. And I couldn't catch out short. Not not a bite. I've not persevered with it. I'll be honest with you, but but no, good. It, it's good. It, it's I mean, crack is low double figures all the way. So I've never seen it. I've never seen that lake fish as well as it is doing at the moment. It's incredible how many fish in its system. It really is. So we're gonna have some good matches in the next few weeks. So just hopefully, I get uh, a few you know a few chances. But I can't grumble. I've been you know I've, there's been plenty of fish we have. If I'd have had. 18 to 20 pound, I think that, that, that would have done me peg justice today. I just felt like I left two or three fish behind. Last 40 minutes, I didn't have one, and Pete at side me didn't have one. And that's cost us both, to be honest with you. But it's worth going for his crack off anyway for one second in. Must be a record, that. Must be a record, but anyway, he's on the board. So we'll see. I look forward to Sunday now, and uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, we're going to get Benny Boy now. Look at him. He's going in the shower, aren't you? You know, eh? I'm going to be a bad dad in a bit, but anyway, have a great night. <laughs>